Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a video on the Black & Decker 12 cup Mill & Brew CM5000B. So is your coffee maker not grinding the coffee beans or is coffee not coming out? I'm gonna show you just a simple, a couple simple fixes that it might be. So when you press the brew button, does the grinder not work? So this does have a feature that turns the grinder off. If you press the button, if there's a line through the grinder, it will not work when you press the brew button. But when you press the grind button, that's for four cups, six cups, eight cups, 10 cups, 12 cups. So if there's a line through it and you press the brew button, it will not, the grinder will not work. And see how when I've got it on four, the grinder works. So another thing, this has safety features built in. So they don't want, that's a pretty sharp grinder down there. They don't want that working if this lid is off. So the first thing you're gonna make sure is so when you close this, it latches. But there's also one more thing. So this brew basket has, there's a little safety thing here. So this little thing right here, which is part of this brew head that comes off, okay? So that could be broke or misaligned. But make sure you put it on and snap it on both sides. But now, now this brew basket, so when you take this out, there's a little safety switch that has to be pressed right there. And so on this brew basket, right here, so that top lid's going, going to come down, it's going to press this little plunger here, and that little plunger there is going to press that safety switch. That will allow the coffee maker to work. So I could see how that could get lost. So again, when we put this in, just make sure you'll see how that kind of lines up. And then you can see when you press down and then when I press this all down, that's going to allow it to work. If at any time, um, see if I lift this lid, this light will flash. That kind of lets me know that that safety switch is not activated. So when I push the lid down. So the manual also talks about the grinder does not turn on. The grinder could be overheated. It said, let cool for 15 minutes, unplug the unit for at least 30 seconds to reset the fuse. So there must be an internal fuse if the grinder gets overheated. So next I'm gonna show you, so there's a little plunger. So anytime you brew coffee, you gotta make sure you got this lid on because this lid has to push up this plunger. So right here, there's a plunger that has to get pushed up in order to let the coffee come out. But if we look over here and take all this out, We've got this, there's that plunger I was talking to you about. So I have seen that if you put this in the dishwasher, sometimes this plunger and spring can come, you'll lose it. They'll be in the bottom of the dishwasher or something. So I'm gonna show you, there's a little Phillips screw, a number one Phillips. Put it in there, now hold this together as you're taking that screw out. Okay, this is going to, the screw stayed in there, but this comes off. Now this is going to expose, don't lose that screw, it comes out now. So this is that plunger I was telling you about. And this has been known to come off. There's a little rubber washer, you reach in there, you can grab it. So this little, it's on there pretty good, but it can come off. And if that little washer comes off, you're going to lose the spring and this plunger are gonna come out and you're gonna have these parts and you're not gonna know what to do with them. Then coffee, coffee's still gonna come out, but it's gonna come out even when you take the pot of coffee out. It will be leaking. So here's the three parts you have to have. You have to have this little washer and this, this washer fits right on there. When you push it in, there's a little groove for it to fit in. So we're gonna put this like this. We're gonna push it in here, hold it. It will spring out on you. And we gotta get this and we gotta get it on there. And it should go in that groove. It's a little tricky. There, it's in the groove. Now when I press the plunger up and down, nothing, it doesn't come out. And then you're gonna take this little cover you're gonna put it back on, and then you're gonna push the, the screw on. 
Okay, so something else. Make sure you don't have any coffee beans down in here that would prevent... You could have accidentally got some coffee beans down in here that would prevent the baskets from going in. This should sit kind of flush and be kind of springy like this. And then when this goes in, again, that's a little tricky, but make sure that's lined up like that. So leave in the comments, if you, if you have found other problems with this, put them in the comments to help other viewers. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and it might help me in the future too with this coffee maker. I'm also going to do so if your coffee maker is not doing, not putting out hot coffee or if it's slow, it's time to descale it with vinegar. So my next video is going to be how to descale this with white vinegar. Thanks everybody for watching and if you could please like and subscribe.